Hi, so let's start. What is Rotary and what is this workshop, workshop about? So Rotary 2 is a reverse engineering framework. It is a competitor of the IDA Pro, but it's free. Of course, it's not yet so powerful as IDA, but it's pretty cool. So I think it really makes sense to spend some time trying out Rotary because the more attention it gets, the more powerful it will become. So let's go to the GitHub page, what you already see on the screen. So go to GitHub slash Rotary slash Rotary 2. As you can see, it's uh, open source. And below here, there is some introduction to the framework itself. So Rotary can be used to analyze any kind of binary file. However, it does have a disassembler as well as a debugger built in. So it's perfect for executables. As you can see here at the supported architectures, that it knows a lot. When we are talking about architectures in this case, we mean the architecture of the analyzed binary. This means that with Rodari, you will be able to work with all these esoteric systems such as uh, Propeller, or you can even analyze Game Boy code. As you can also see here, it supports all major file formats and a lot more. So Rodari itself can be run on various platforms, but since it's open source, you can build it on any architecture where you have the necessary tools such as GCC. This is a big advantage compared to IDA, which only comes in the three major systems and you will never put it on an iPhone, for instance. And since Rotary 2's main interface is terminal-based, it would actually be usable on an iPhone where you can SSH into. All right, to summarize, Rotary 2 is a reverse engineering framework. You can analyze binaries, executables in it. It has a disassembler and a debugger and a bunch of other tools built in. But this is enough talking, so let's start actually working. The next section will give you instructions on where to download the virtual machine that we are going to use. Download it and then I will see you in the installation lecture. Bye.